spotted something and I've spoken to someone and I could be bringing on something really interesting. Different, but interesting for sure, yeah? Um, but, so yeah, that's that's the urgency on this, yeah? Uh, End of the cam. So that's it, guys. Mm. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Well, our old trusted Land Rover Discovery um, has finally said it had enough. Um, you can see it here. So the Discovery is is the machine that basically brings all our our, our um, classics home. Yeah, when we go off and buy a classic, etc., etc. That's that's the baby that does the job, and. Um, recently, just recently, I've had like a spate of issues with it. Um, I've had um, the crank pulley, which is down the bottom end on the crank, the bottom pulley. Um, also, I've changed the radiator on it, and it, it, it's been faultless in fairness to it. It's never really given us an issue, but since Christmas, it's just been like, yeah, or just before Christmas actually. So. Anyway, I have um, I have another restoration, right? Um, another little vehicle that I'm going to pick up, but because the issue with this Jeep is, um, well, the Jeep isn't running right. Okay, so what's wrong with the Jeep is that when you sit in and turn the key and start the Jeep, right? It's like as if it was running on four cylinders, and that's where the problems lie. Um, when you accelerate it. Uh, it shudders, you know, it's it's just not as smooth as it would normally be. Now, I've dug a little deeper and I found that actually um, that it can be an issue with them, okay? So, basically what happens is the wire loom on these take on oil. Now, um, the wire loom or part of it resides under the rocker cover. So, therefore, there's oil splashing around and there is little seals that actually um, prevent the oil from getting onto the cable. But over time, when a vehicle is like 10 or 15 years old or whatever, uh, it can cause, and these tend to have that issue. I'm hoping that this is the, the, the issue. Uh, it, it bears all the signs of the issue and we'll only know at the end of this video. But this video is not about the beginning and the, uh, the end. Uh, really, it's about just about the tools you need to do it and to see it done and if your Jeep is is doing those kind of things it's like when you get in and you start the Jeep it's like it's misfiring when you accelerate when you press your press on the accelerator and it's it's just shuddering from like say 800 um, to a thousand to 1500 revs per minute on the rev counter you know you'll see it on the rev counter you'll see your, your steering wheel will be kind of a there'll be a a very slight vibration through it so the engine is like it's missing you know it's a five cylinder engine in these and it it would appear like it's running on four so that's the issue if that's what your Jeep is doing uh, it's most likely this now you can still drive it but there's a lack of power and it's not it's really noticeable you know there's a um, does a, a 30 percent kind of lack of power um, and I wouldn't suggest you continue to drive it you know and continue to drive it like that um, yeah so uh, I'll show you the bits I got for it and we get stuck in and I'll just rip it up and, and, and show you the process of it I've 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 done the, the work myself um, on YouTube you know searching it out and I know what to do but it's always good to see a video so if that's the reason you came over here um, then yeah just stay with us okay guys so I've kind of got myself ready here I've got some gloves these are the three tools that you'll need You'll need a pair of these, or a good set of uh, heavy-duty pliers, um, or vice grips. Okay, so you'll need that. You'll need um, an eight-millimeter socket, right? And quarter drive, etc. That's plenty enough for what we're doing. We're taking out ten or twelve little studs, so they're only eight mil, so that will be sufficient. And there's a hose that we need to do, yeah, undo. So a flathead screwdriver. And that's the tools we need, okay? So, that's all you need. Now, in this bag, we've had a delivery of one 
Rocker Gasker. And if I'm moving a little bit too quick for you guys, you can always pause it, okay? So, again, you could do this without replacing the gasket, yeah? But it's as well to throw the new gasket in, is what I'm kind of, you know, that's the way I'd, I'd, I'd go with it. Um, so we have, our, we have our gasket, and then the last thing is this is where the issue... Right, so, sorry guys. So, again... I got these from JGS, yeah, and I've got lots of stuff in the past from JGS. Um, Bear Mark, so that's a really good brand, guys. You know, if you're replacing, you, 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 you know, yeah. So, what happens is, like I said, there's a seal on these, okay, and I'll just open those and, and we'll get it out and I'll show you. The oil basically goes in here and it runs down along this rail. Yeah, runs down along this rail, comes out here to this plug, and if we go over here to the beast, right, this is the baby that brings all our stuff home, um, and we come over around this side here, you'll see, there's a, um, let's get you in there, there's a plug underneath, just here, and that rail, sits along there inside we'll see it when it's open you'll see it and the oil comes down here and it goes along that cable and it ends up going into the ECU which is this piece here and so I've had this ECU out and there was um, um, very slight oil right at the plug, down at the bottom there, there's two plugs here at the top of the CCU. Right, so there's one here, and there's one down below, further down. Um, that's it really. So, we're gonna get, um, yeah, so that's what happens. That's what's causing the problem. I'm hoping that's what's causing the problem on this one. Um, we won't know until I change out that, you know, the rail, and, um, and take it from there really. Process of elimination, guys, it's always that way. Like I said, Bearmark, yeah? Um, it's a really good brand if you're into Land Rovers and stuff. So, um, that's the rail. And this is the gasket, new gasket. Okay, so let's take this over and just get started on this job. Right there. The first thing we really need to do is to take this breather pipe off. Okay, so it's held down with a clip over there. So you will need your vice grips or big pliers or whatever. And you'll need a screwdriver for this guy here. Yeah. Don't know if you can see that or not, but on the bottom there, you have a little uh, jubilee clip. So you need to take that out. Um, it's best take it out because if you damage this hose here, then you know you're in, you're in bigger issues, and yeah, you don't want to do that. So remove this airline, yeah, this breather pipe, and I would start with undoing it here, so that when we uh, undo it over there, you can actually um, you know shift it around nicely. And there's no pressure put on this one. You're not, you know, folding this one around. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get you set up and we'll get stuck in. There we go. So you can see it's loose now. Okay. Now, a lot of these times, a lot of times these have a, 
like a shoulder on the end of them so it's as well to do a little bit more that's just that breather pipe coming back okay next is the clip over Yanking it over again. There could be a sh there's a shoulder, I'd imagine, on the end of this. So, there, now this is a hard hose to take off, so I suggest pull it here like this, and that will make it easier. Put your finger behind it to try and push it, and there we go. Now, this is what I was talking about, you see. Let me go over there out of the way. Okay, that's the first job. That's the first piece of it done. Now it's a case of, um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, maybe. I'm not sure if I counted this one already. So there's thirteen or fourteen, um, Eight mil studs to be taken off, and that's it. I can come off for now. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start ripping these now. Yeah, I don't think there's any need to uh just go over here and do this as well. I just need um don't want that dropping into the engine. <laughs> we'll see if it happens. So this is an awkward one. Might just change my tooling. Just a second guys. guy was like um, a 3-8 drive so maybe this will be a little bit um, a little bit better might work better in here these are the awkward ones well this one anyway Flaky that stuff. Yeah, don't want that going into the engine. Oh, no. 
the front. Let me just put some tape on that, guys. It's really foam. This is the awkward one, but uh, it's not too bad. Now, um, there is a plate that goes behind there, and uh, if if yours has that plate, then it, uh, definitely take the plate out because uh, it's a real pain in the bum. It's almost impossible to do it with that plate in there, so you need to take that plate out. If yours has the plate, um, this one doesn't have it. I think when this was being uh, restored, because it has been restored, I didn't restore it, it was restored when we got it, but um, yeah. Someone didn't put it back, basically, right? So yeah, we're going to pick up um, we're going to pick up something different in the next couple of days. Hopefully, if everything goes right, we're going to pick up something new and uh, not new, uh, something very old, but different. And uh, ah, it's really interesting. Could have like um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of these guys. So uh all the same linked bolts so far. Gotta watch things like that, but yeah. There's actually a filter down the bottom there. Um, just down there. And um, that needs doing as well. Fourteen volts, a minute each, or less. Half a minute, six minutes, roughly. So it's an eight millimeter socket. That's all. A pliers. 
and a flathead screwdriver so far. There we go. And just a magic tap. Basically, just give it a little tap to. I'm going to play the careful game right with this foam and just not touch it if I can. Um, if I can't, if I happen to have to touch it, you see, I don't want to have to. Okay. Get you a closer look, guys. Uh, time to get these gloves on, I think. Okay, let's go for a walk. So there's this plug I was telling you about, okay, and there's your, your rail, and these wires go to your injectors, yeah, and what happens is over the, over the years, okay, um, oil gets in, and this is a fault with the discoveries, oil gets in, to the cable and it's it's not on the outside obviously it's on the inside of the sheet that covers the wire so it gets under that over time and it goes down along here yeah from up above each one does five so let's let's have a count one two three four five so five cylinders like I said before it feels like it's running on four cylinders when this happens it's shuddering and then you have this plug down the bottom here so there's like um, clips you can see on each side and basically you pull that down squeeze and pull down I know you can't see it a minute guys but there you go. It's not too hard, right? Now I've cleaned all this and dried it with um, a brake cleaner and um, electrical cleaner to see if I could just maybe solve the problem. But it's definitely now I see like a dowel there. Okay, so okay. And get another little piece of light on here guys because it's good to be able to see what we're doing yeah so I'll get you set up again and we're going to we're going to prise that up now there's two rubber o-rings as far as I know on this guy yeah and he seals yeah on this piece here and the oil don't go down there, it doesn't go out, yeah? So, yeah. 
but that's what it looks like. Just having a look here guys, you may as well have a look as well. Can't see anything really. Hmm, interesting. It's a chain, yeah? Like I said, five cylinders. Okay, I'll get you set up and we'll um we'll get this plug out, okay? And it's only a case of um there's wire clips on here. Yeah? I'd imagine that's that. Just push them down and I really need to get my gloves on. Oil is not the friendliest. Um it'll be pushing them inwards to release and pull, but I can't do it with one hand. Um I'm sure it's not out the way they go. I'm sure to be in. But we'll know. Yeah, it's in. I just, it's its awkward with one hand, guys, so. I get you up on a, a seat. Uh, I get you up on a, and I, yeah. That's a nice picture there, yeah. Uh, I love. Okay, guys. You can see where we're at now just moved over the other side of the engine here so you can see it from this side and uh, now I'll be able to um, I'll be able to press that clip I have both hands ah, there so that's really what we're looking at I'll show you up close in a minute so you get to see them yeah I'm just having a look here myself as well yeah oh, there's some Gunk on them, yeah. Um, looks like some of those have joiners on them or something. Maybe they were. Oh, just about do it. You got to push them all the way in. Really, it's a two. It's a two-hand job, really. If you want to do it comfortable, yeah. So you just push the clip in. Pull up on it. And the last one, ah, okay, so you see, I hope you, you guys have seen that there, but you know, the oil gets back in the, on the wire, right? Now this is the clip, right? So as you push that clip, you see, right here, if you watch here and here, what happens? Most of you guys know this, but look, this will help the guy who has never done it before, so you push it in okay now like I said there's two o-rings on this fella yeah there's like a well I'm hoping there's a dowel there to, to position it but I can't really see if it's a uh, it might just come up you know some sometimes it's a bit of brute force yeah and ignorance that gets these things but so we'll try with the uh, we don't want to mark the face you never want to damage the face um, because you obviously want to see to seal afterwards and the screwdriver is not with us we didn't put it in the tray so it really is time to get the gloves on now guys I think so um, I know you're um, look I'll just bring you in there a bit Okay, and I need some paper. And we get a screwdriver, wasn't it? Did we get it? Yeah. Right. I really need to put the gloves on now guys, so just put that there and get these gloves on because uh, it's getting, yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay, so that's the rail. And they go on, they plug onto the injectors, basically that's it. 
and we might be able to get underneath here a little bit just a little bit of side prize yeah yeah it's moving already with very little pressure on it like I say I don't want to you don't want to you really don't want to damage anything uh, I, you know, I'm not, you know, seriously, I'm not. There we go. Yeah. This, um, there's two O rings. Yeah, yeah, two o rings. ITT Cannon is what's wrote on here, or maybe, yeah, it is ITT Cannon C A N N O N. So, there's no dowel, it's just a groove, and that goes, that sits there, yeah? And uh, I don't see anything else to, and it's, the oil comes through those pins. I don't know if you can see the pins, yeah? Those pins inside, but the oil comes through and on, on into the female side of things, down here. Yeah, and um, it goes on down, it follows the loom all the way down and goes in at the bottom of the... the what you may call it? The ECU, yeah. And there you have it guys. The oil goes through onto them pins. And obviously leaks in. Where are we? Yeah. Leaks in there. Gets in eventually after because the wire the wires get a little bit harder. Now they look to me like they look like they have um Then you see the black wire? Like, this is all yellow, and this is, this is, hasn't been changed. Then if we go on to the next one, we see that that is, right? So, okay, I can get you zoomed out a bit. So, um, yeah. That seems to be okay. That seems to have been, seems to have some kind of a join on it or, yeah. Uh, the height of this black on here seems like, you know, goes way up it. So yeah, two of them seems to have been, so yeah. Anyway, that's what it looks like guys, yeah. Right, we'll get you over and uh, we'll have a look and a little chat over on the other side. Okay guys, so we're back here at the, the makeup bench, yeah? And I just wanted to show you these, look, right? Electrical contact cleaner, holes, everybody's out of holes. So that's one of the products that I use to clean uh, that wire loom and the plug on it. And this is brake cleaner by Holtz again, yeah. And use that. Lots of it. All that one's gone on it. So I would say to you, a word of uh, advice is don't waste your money on that. Yeah. Um, it, it doesn't work. You know. I mean, this one. Look. You can see there is like a electrical connector. You know, it's especially for electrical contact cleaner. It, that's what it is. But 
great products don't I'm not I'm not dishing the products I'm just saying for the repair and what we're doing on this Jeep at the minute right this is this is what you buy you buy this and you buy this um, I think if you're in the UK you're talking like 40 40 quid or whatever yeah um, and that's for the two and like I said I said about the branding they're a really good make and now all we have to do is make sure so this this Jeep is 03 and I think it's 98 from 1998 to 04 is really you know so if you have if you have a, a discovery a TD5 and it's um, from 98 to 04 then those numbers that I that I that you saw on there etc so let's just have a look here and see um, what you would need to do is make sure that this gasket right that this gasket is exactly like what we want it to be and like this one the existing one so and put away these put away these tins right yeah <laughs> sorry about that guys um so okay so what we have to do now is to make sure okay so over here Okay, so we'll just make sure, guys, that these gaskets are exactly right, yeah? Okay, the tins have been put away, and uh, there's two on there. There is no name on that one. It could be going like that, won't it? Yeah? So that should really do and now what we have to do is make sure right that um, that this gasket is actually spot on that it's right so so if we see the way it goes like this and yeah it's right okay and then we have here for the cam sorry guys so I'll give all that a wipe now a wipe clean and I'll offer on this new one okay now I'm not going to put any seal on it what it is you don't have to and apparently it's not it's it's not to be done so and actually the difference of the two is that this is a really lovely soft gasket okay and this here is almost brittly hard you know brittle okay so that's it guys I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna take this off right I don't want to drop stuff and lose stuff but yeah so these dowels come out then okay so that's how it goes like that's hard now see see what I mean about hard you know it's it's not very malleable yeah so mm. yeah maybe 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 we'll get to you'll get to see me mm -hmm. Some of them dowels are dropping out, yeah? Mm. But I'm not going to be able to, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to show you guys the, um, so there's no dowels in it, yeah? And I see there's a piece there, right in the middle of the screen right now. And is that on that one? Let's just see yes so that bit is different right from all the rest of it that's the bit and that's the, i tend to always like find something that's really uh, yeah and that bit there would be that bit there okay so and it is like i said look it's it's brittle it's kind of brittle hard so anyway guys 
um, I'll shut you down and I'll bring you back in a second I'll fit this new gasket onto this and put all these dowels back in again and I think we're ready to just then finally just fit this give this maybe a smidgen of oil or I'll leave a little bit of oil in the in the bore that that goes into and just clip it back put the gasket on here now and then it's like just um, pinch it all up again right um, so okay it's just the final look in here they'd be your injectors yeah cam oh it looks okay okay and there's that plug look that we're going in here underneath okay. Busty. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. I've um I've cleaned all around the groove. There's a groove here. Yeah. Um, let's see if I can get you in a bit. So basically there's a groove, yeah, along here. And the rubber gasket seal sits into that. So I've cleaned all around, cleaned these dowels, yeah, cleaned everything. That's the way we go. And now we're going to offer this up, okay. So it's, it's pretty easy to see what goes where you have. You have like that piece okay so you have that piece there obviously goes on this end yeah so there's really not a lot to watch out for really you know anyone could do this okay so so the dowel some of the dowels everything clean clean is the most important thing guys Everything is always clean. Cleanliness is essential. And to make sure that it's all sitting down as it should. Yeah. Just putting these dowels in again, yeah. And then the bolt goes on that okay so and the gasket can you see mm, can you see that the gasket goes through yeah and when this goes up to meet it it makes a, um it's so it's a good row it's a good you know it's a good seal isn't it when you think about it, it's not just a gasket between two plates or two faces yeah and uh, and 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 when you present when when you offer it up and offer it in, it locks with this body that um that the, the gasket has. Yeah, see the gasket comes down. Yeah. Okay. So it make and from there to there. Look. Okay. So anyone can should be able to get this right. Yeah. There is no um. There's no actual. Right. And like I said, the gasket sits into a groove all the ways along. So you can't really, um, if you want it, if you, if you thought, well, you know, mechanics isn't your thing. This really, you know, um, what can I say? Yeah. It's kind of foolproof, really, you know. And um, might encourage you to... to Buy a few spanners and do it yourself. There's, uh, like I said, there's no rocket science in it. 
just keep everything clean and think about things before you do them. Is it, uh, I find is, you know, there's a starting point for everyone, guys. Yeah? And it doesn't really matter where you start. Uh, obviously, if you jump in too deep, and I'm not a mechanic, let that be known, okay? You guys that watch my videos, um, you'll know that I'm a welder by trade, yeah? And uh, a lifetime at it. But, I've got lots of that stuff to be at. <laughs> if ever I catch up. But, um, let me just go around and, I've cleaned all this groove while you were off camera. <laughs> And I think, you know what guys, I think, and I, I usually start in a place, work my way around and then, you know, then look for all the, any dowels that you might have lying around. Always create a little bench for yourself, that helps. You know, a clean space, a clean, yeah. So I'm starting here now and I'm, I'm going right, that dowel, that dowel, that dowel, there, 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 there. there. There, 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 <laughs> there, there, that's it, okay? Now, I've cleaned all this area as well. So now you saw me, now we'll go over guys, and I think we'll fit this, and then we'll offer that up, and yeah, it's night time here, so in the morning I think I'll, uh, so again, we'll put that in, might put a little seam of oil around it, just to let, make it slide in that bit easier, yeah, you see. I goes back along the blade and inside the sheet like I said yeah so that's that eliminated for about 60 quid it's 60 quid here in Ireland that's euros guys take no notice when I quote money don't take any notice because yeah and here's who you want just How was that? Okay guys. Um battery's about to go. <laughs> so it's going on there like that. Sits in there. Oh, it appears to be. Let's see. That has to be that way. Okay, it has to be that way. It, it, it seems to want to feet to go that way. But that wouldn't be right. Maybe they go over the top. brought us here in the first place. <laughs> I 
Okay, guys, I've um I've given all these a wipe, just a wipe with a cloth, yeah, just to dry them up a little bit. So we're gonna, and I'm thinking, right, if I just oil the first O-ring just a little bit, so just a little bit, just to, there's no real oil on that now. And I've wiped this bore here. Okay, but you might be able, you might detect it there, but okay, so there's a wide section and the bottom is narrower. So there's like a shoulder on it. And unfortunately I have the wires have to be twisted for it to sit there's a channel here for this plastic rail to sit on it and it won't fit the wide side down won't work so it's definitely which means we've got to twist this around a bit that's the only thing but uh so if i sit that one in there and it seems like that that should that should like I say, I'm only putting oil in the first one. Um, and the wires up top or towards the cam, this wire clip. Yeah. Right, that's that. That's that. Oh, you can't really see, but that's that, that, and that. The wire clip towards the cam. You can see I was holding them back there because you don't want to get, no. You don't want to get them into the island, they're just brand new. So that to me looks better. I know we had a little twist on here, but that's definitely it sits in like I say it sits into that groove. This is wider on top and that won't fit into the groove down there. There's like a groove, yeah. Uh, it's not it's not actually clipping into it, it's just sitting into it. It doesn't clip into it as far as I can see. Would have been a good idea if it did, but it doesn't. Yeah. Imagine cables in oil, eh? So now it's time to push this guy down and he only has to be in remember there's like a groove there for that so <sighs> gonna lean on this now <sighs> that's it <sighs> and I can see down that hole that it is actually sitting it is actually you know <laughs> it is actually sitting so now and that doesn't even want to sit there, but sit there it will because that's where it belongs. And there's no other way for that to go. And I would just, I would just, I would just like it to be a little bit, you know. That it wasn't bouncing around like it is because we're going to have to try and get the rocker cover on here and I don't want that to be bothering us. Just have to twist it a bit. Oh well. So that's, that's it guys. That's, that's pretty much. Now... 
rocket cover. I like it. Bloody plastic. Hey. Yeah, now we've got to lift the rocker cover over this area and you'll see I just under this rubber I tucked in the bit of tissue to keep remember to keep that foam we don't want it and I thoroughly dried out this area back here Is there a piece of rubber back there, guys? Ah, good job I spotted that. A piece of the old gasket, eh? Huh? Quite a big lump of it. See? Hmm. And I cleaned it, but it's really hard to see back there, guys. So now that I'm now that I'm on that case. <laughs> pardon the pun. I'm gonna make sure that, that groove is clean. I'm gonna have to. Um Stop recording. Okay guys, got this little guy and we'll see what he can do. He'll do better than my, my nails. He, there's a groove here for the um, So it's impossible to see actually only just about feel it and I'm not using um, any kind of silicone for this fitment right and that's entirely your decision whether you want to put silicone on or not but I uh, I've decided against it and if it leaks then I'll have to sort that out but I don't think it will and what makes me say that is the gasket we just took off guys was uh, brittle and it would have been rubber one time just you know malleable like the one that's going on now and there is no and there was no silicon. So therefore, and I think I read someplace that it doesn't, or I've seen some guy and uh, he didn't put silicon, but it's entirely your decision guys. Whatever you, you know, you can put silicon if you want to put silicon and you don't have to put silicon if you don't want to put silicon. Me personally, I'm not. I'm not. It's really hard, you know that? It's really difficult to see.
hole at six o'clock there. Imagine, I believe that. Well, the groove looks clean, guys. So I think we'll go with that one. There's no big lumps of rubber there anymore. I don't know if you can see that in the mirror. Yeah. Uh, if you can see it in the camera, I mean, not the mirror. Or maybe, yeah, that's the mirror in front of us, like, but. Yeah, so the groove is empty. And then, let me see what you saw. And I'll see if I can actually accommodate you and so, so that you can actually. Uh, I don't think you can see that at all, can you? Let me see if I can put you someplace, guys. I really can't see what you see, though. That's the problem. That's the problem we have. Sorry for shaking you around now, guys, but uh, let me just see if I can uh, set this up here. Bear with us. Be patient. And I'll give you an eyeball at something that maybe you didn't know existed, or... That's the importance of it all, isn't it? Of course, if you haven't got patience, hmm, you've nothing. Be honest. See, we get better as we go. Yeah. Um. Can you see in the mirror, guys? Yeah. Can you see that? That's what's. That's what's back there. So there's a groove and there's a hole. Yeah? The black side of that, what you see there in the middle, is the outside of the casing and the firewall. And then you have the end of the cam. I think it's what you're seeing as well there now, the end of the cam. So that's it guys. So we're in there, middle of those two bolt holes. That's where we were. Um, I'm happy enough with that guys. I can see that it's clean and that's really like I said clean is important right okay rocker cover will it behave itself and just go in there for us nicely without losing and falling to bits okay so what you see coming into you there now is that part of it there, look. Yeah? That's going to be seated down in there. And that's why we need everything to be clean. And we'll just see if it'll go in the way we'd like it to go in. So what's really important now is that I don't hit it off anything. That is actually Now, I would say the most important thing, guys, is at the back, right? Because if that rubber isn't in right at the back, we've basically done nothing. We've basically done nothing right.
feels. It feels okay. But it doesn't seem to be sitting down okay. You're getting a bit of a seesaw there, guys. Something not right. Because there's something not sitting down right. Or is that the thickness of the... Yeah, it looks like it's the thickness of the gasket. The new rubber seal. It's thick. Yeah? Well, we'll pull down a screw or two in the back and we'll see. We'll know. Yeah? Bring around my steps here. Mm. So, hey, that looks, you can see, I'll bring you guys along, I'll show you if I can, you see, no that's too dark isn't it, that's too dark. really smooth Let's fix it here so you can see a bit more than stud. Everything seems to be going down nice. Thirteen bolts, guys. One three. All accounted for. Look. Yeah. Another benefit of having a magnetic tray beside you. 
nothing gets lost or fall and a pile get lost. <laughs> right, we're on the home run here. And it's great we don't have to fill it back up with liquids and oil and the usual old stuff, you know what I mean? It's just connect that hose again. That breeder hose. All the doors seem to be really nice. So I'm not really tightening these guys as you can see. I'm just hand tightening all these. And I'm seeing a squash coming on there, just all nice and even going around. So that really can't damage anything. Now those two will have to be with this little one, if I remember correctly. Remember back at the start. Just the eight mil. And this little quarter drive ratchet for the back ones. Because they're awkward. Maybe just the socket and be Really careful that we don't drop it. That foamy stuff is bloody nuisance. Mm-hmm. And I, that's my mistake now, guys, yeah? I really should have put the, I should have screwed them in at the back first. Yeah, I, this one is. I didn't know I, I had ran that one down so far. It's weird going on, I think, guys. I'm hoping that there's nothing weird going on. I hope it's just that it's the time of the night, <laughs> but Something seems a little, something seems a little, okay, it's screwing down now. Right. This one seems to be, hmm, seems okay, the other one seems a bit like it doesn't want to play ball or, that's about home now, on the fingers. Yeah. tighten that one just yet it's this one is doesn't want to seem to be playing ball with us I don't know why it seems to be under pressure or something uh, okay You see me guys, have I just had my elbow in the way all the time? Or I'm really sorry about that, but it's the position that these are in, it's super awkward. I think that's it. Um, so just bring the rest of them to that. 
I don't think there's any real need for a zigzag pattern on this and uh, we'll, we'll do it anyway yeah? so now that we're getting um, on it get a little extension and I would prefer the other ratchet to be honest so for this part so we're on a 3-8 ratchet and, a, and an 8 mil on a, on a quarter, yeah? A reducer. And an 8 mil, yeah? So, and it's on, we want to put them. So that one, that one. That one, that one, that one, that one, roughly the same pressure to all of them, yeah, is what I'm doing here, just, just the same amount, yeah. It's a big rubber gasket and these bushes as well, they're all rubber. So there's three across the front now. Okay, this one, this one, this one. And that one, and that one, that one, and the ones inside are, I'm happy with the ones inside, but just to be able to advocate, guys, to be able to advocate, back onto the eight, on its own, on a quarter drive. Oh, that's the one. And lift that up there out of the way. Sorry about my elbow. That's the one. Take this out from underneath this. Look, that's look, you can do it. Yeah. Put it under that. Saves any of that stuff going in down below. Put your hand in the back. It's um it's a bit of a blind one back there guys, yeah? It really is. I might put my mirror there just to have an eyeball, yeah? Because we know we can. And just to have a look at the back wall. And if you get these little cheapy tools, because that's what they are, and you put them in your toolbox, yeah? And uh then you don't have to use them every night or every day and you probably most likely won't but when you do need to see something yeah you'll be able to and I'll tell you what that looks okay that looks right and it looks good it all looks uniform from what I can see. It looks, yeah, it looks good. <sighs> see, I keep, I keep these little tools now, guys. I keep them well out of the way in case that other leg comes. You know what he's like, he breaks everything, yeah? I'm going him around the place. You could have nothing with him. He broke my little magnet. You remember that video? Anyway, you'll all know. Those of you who've been watching will know what I'm referring to. No, it actually worked out great that little um, that little magnet for spotting, you know, for welding. Um, that feels good, lads. I, I, it's hard to know, you know. Uh, maybe here's a tip: put your hand down there, 
at the beginning before you take out your rubber your perished rubber gasket okay put your hand down there and feel what it feels like because right now I can get my nails in under the, the rubber you know kind of like in under yeah and I'm hoping that that's the way it's supposed to be I'm hoping but you will see if, if there's a leak I've cleaned it and dried it round there put that over there on the tools and if there's a leak I'll know because look that's another thing but that's an idea for you guys you know maybe you can, you can get back to me then and say right but anyway like I said she was um she wasn't ticking over right guys so when you jumped in and turned the key and you started it and you took it from about I mean, this one ticks at about 800 revs 8, 850 revs 850 and when you took it to a thousand and you work it up to twelve hundred and fifteen hundred rev fifteen hundred one thousand five hundred revs per minute on the on the on the um on the rev counter it was splut not spluttering but shuddering you know like i said you could see a vibration through the, through the steering even you know and a, a, a loss of power i would say i would guesstimate at about 30 percent loss so and that's the reason why we've just done what we've done and I'm pretty sure that we're finished here guys yeah now it's just a case of um now it's a case of just opened the valve accidentally there with my foot now it's a case of just shove this clip remember this guy down here It's a little bit dark, isn't it? Okay. But basically, see, I'm working with a different camera now again. That goes up there, and I'm going to shove it up there, guys. So I'll just leave you looking at that for a second. Oh. You don't hear a click, it just seems to go up there, you know. It doesn't actually click. It should click, but it doesn't seem to. Anyway, so now that's the connection is made here. All the studs are done. Now we need our um, oil filler cap. Which, of course, decided it was going away in its own walk. So we have our oil filler cap and lastly guys and we're gonna see lastly we're gonna fit this hose right and we threw it across there if you remember so if we grab up our tools and what do we need now we need a screwdriver yeah which is here we'll need that as a second and we'll need the big pliers, right? The big pliers. So, and we need our steps. So, our steps. Bring over our hose. off at the other end look <laughs> yeah so it just goes down through that okay I'll leave you here guys that's definitely over enough then we just grab with the pliers 
and bring it over along like this. And there we go. And let it off. Now we can do that. To widen this bit. You know. Make it comfortable. Yep, tight. And then we do remembering we don't want to break this hose, yeah. And now it's just to tighten this. We're doing almost. Let's bust off. Okay, that's it, guys. Um, I really do think that's it. And I'm hoping that's it. So that's it guys, um, I'm going to fire it up now actually and uh, test it and see what, what, you know, how it goes. But um, yeah, it's, um, I've been cleaning it and this Jeep, it doesn't get a lot of use, yeah. But, but, when I spot a, a classic, you know, that needs bringing home, this is the baby that does it, yeah. So you'll see this in the videos um, and like I said at the beginning of this video I actually spotted I spotted something and I've spoken to someone and I could be bringing on something really interesting different but interesting for sure yeah um, but so yeah that's that's the urgency on this yeah um, we have another we have another Jeep as well but I really don't want to be um, I don't want to be. I don't want to be abusing that. This is the this is the the horse, yeah. So we'll see how it sounds now. Actually, I think I'm ready to fire it up, yeah. Uh, apologies for the noise in the background. That's the the heating, guys. Now we're kind of out in the dark. Let's just see how this. Let's just see. I know you can't see anything, guys, but look. For uh, for um, just to just to uh, okay, it's in neutral. I really should get a light, shouldn't I? Oh, uh, well, hopefully, you can hear that, right? That's it. Jeez, it sounds more powerful. That sounds more powerful, guys. Um, This is kind of night nighttime stuff, guys. But all for um. Okay. So you can see there. It's I don't know. Is it like five hundred? Yeah. Now, when I prior to this, okay. Let me see if I could just get this 
light lighting anyway I'll just put it where it was you can see there right and you can hear it before right it, when I would do this it was shuddering the steering wheel as you can see now the steering wheel was the steering wheel would be like now it's just yeah no vibrations no misfire pure smooth all the way is up to 3000 revs and that's fixed guys and now you know you see what it what it does to fix yeah your discovery TD5 That's it guys. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's been running a couple of minutes now, yeah? And it is, it's just smooth, yeah? There's no vibrations, nothing. First job, do the screw. Second job, do the pipe at the clamp. Put the pipe over out of the way to the right hand side. Undo the top bean studs. Clean all the faces on both top and head. And that's it guys. Bye guys. She sounds sweet now, yeah? So like I said, I just got a spade of um I got a spade of stuff that needed doing to it. And it kind of all came together and I really can't complain about this old bus because she's been good, you know, she's she's earned her keep for sure. Sounds nice. Um, I continue to monitor it and do a check around the back, especially around the back, so if you were doing this job, it's an easy enough job, but uh, yeah, you know where I found a little lump of rubber, that's where I'd be, that, that's the only place that would get you into bother. Um, I've checked it for oil around there, there's no leaks, so it's all good. Um, thanks for watching, I know it's not my usual VW stuff. Um, it's a Land Rover, it's a rust bucket as far as I'm concerned. You know, this one isn't because I kind of stayed on top of her. But, yeah, she's going to go to work soon and bring home something else that you'd be interested in, hopefully. So, um, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to get notified of other stuff. And um, thanks very much for hanging out with us. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Ciao. Buster has gone to bed. <laughs> Ciao.